Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg. If you enjoy the content, subscribe down below or up top on the Easy to Use widget at the end of the video. This is going to be the first Ghostly Tate game preview of the season as our Lehigh Valley Phantoms preseason is finally over and the regular season is starting tonight out there in Wilkesbury Scranton against the rival Wilkesbury Scranton Penguins. So for the Penguins, looking at who was hot coming in from the preseason, rookie Sam Hode uh, had five points in three games. Uh, Jan Drogues, who played well against us last year, so he's somebody you just have to watch in general, uh, had four points in three games again, so looking like he's going to be set for another successful season down there. And then beyond that, um, they didn't have the biggest point shares, but other names you're going to want to look out for. P-O-L got, or P-O-J, excuse me, got called up. Um, Casper Bjorkquist is somebody you're going to want to look out for. He's a good skater, has a pretty good shot at right wing, and he can create some offense. Same with Philip Hollander. He can do the same thing. You're going to want to look out for him. Nathan Ligari is a guy that's a rookie that you're going to want to look out for as well. So there's different guys. Felix Robert played well against the Phantoms, so you're going to want to look out for him no matter what. And then hopefully, like some games last year, if Diorio is the guy they go with, or if they go with one of their go other goalies, like Louis Domingue is down there, who obviously has had some NHL action. Hopefully they're not as hot as a firecracker, because I remember last season, I remember the only reason our Lehigh Valley Phantoms lost a game to the Wilkes-Barre Scram Penguins was, I believe it was DeOrio in that game, was hot as a firecracker, and uh, carried them over the top. But you obviously also, other guys to mention on their team before we get to our Lehigh Valley Phantoms are Sam Poulin, who's one of the top prospects in Pittsburgh, and then Valtteri uh, Hustinen, who I usually mispronounce his last name. I think I actually got it right there. Who's a right winger that you have to watch out for? So this team has a lot of rookies that are integrating new energy into the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins, plus they still have the players like the Oreo, like Robert, um, that also affected our Phantoms. Jan Drogues especially played well against our Phantoms in the past last season, so you're going to want to step up and play well against those guys. Now, for our Lehigh Valley Phantoms, it's going to be interesting. I've been trying to um, go through Twitter to see if anybody has um, who is going to be in net. Obviously, the great Cal O'Reilly, the great leader, came back as the Phantoms captain this year. And we got Sandstrom and fellow Swede Sam Merson coming off of a stellar season in the SHL after he helped his team the prior season to not be relegated. So he's going to be a guy that I think comes over and does well in the North American game. It's going to be interesting if they go with the Rook Ursan or a guy that has more experience in Felix Sandstrom. And then on the topic of Guau, on the topic of goaltenders, I'm going to start doing a podcast for them specifically. But Kuro Ustamenko had a very good first start in the preseason down in Reading. And the only reason he's down there is so he gets playing time. That ain't a shot at his skill at all. It's just so he can get the most playing time. And we have Sammy Orson, who looks like he's our best goalie prospect, and Sandstrom, who just had experience last year and looked good in the AHL, be down there. So let's get into the guys that we want to look at and obviously pay attention to this year when it comes to our Phantom. The top guy is obviously when it comes to our Phantoms is Cam York, the defenseman. We want to see how good he does, how much his game has grown in one offseason, and see how he steps in and does good this season. We also want to see how a guy that impressed me last year on defense for the Phantoms, Linus Hogberg, who can develop at least into a not the same type of player as Robert Hag, but the type of guy that can be swung into your lineup in the NHL when needed or just be your extra defenseman. I think he definitely has shown me that he at least has that. Um, and whether he's going to be more than that obviously has to be seen, and this is a year that you're going to see that in. Of course, Connor Bunneman is always a fun guy to follow, plays the game well, plays with a lot of energy, and plays with a good physical component in his game, especially when he's down below, and then he can come up and be a swingman. Obviously, Max Willman, congratulations to him, had his first NHL game. When he's down, that's going to be interesting to watch him, but in terms of tonight's game, Wyatt Wiley, I would say, is the most interesting defenseman other than Cam York to watch because he really has been developing at a good clip. And a guy that I think definitely, Hogberg definitely right now looks like he's a guy that has a chance to make the NHL in some capacity where Wiley, if he keeps developing like he is last season after being very impressive and just kind of being a very nice, steady Eddie guy as a youngster down there from the right side. If he keeps developing at that rate, I would say he is more in line to be a guy that could be in your six, even if it is on your bottom pairing, 
where at this point Hogberg is definitely in line to be a guy that can do that, but he's more right now with some more having some things that have to get changed in his game, I would say, is in a process of being that 6-7 right now projection where I would say right now with how impressive Wiley was in is more of that 5-6 projection when it comes to defensemen. But that's just me. That's just my opinion. Isaac Ratcliffe, of course, is a fun guy that we have to pay attention to this year because if he stays healthy, I don't know if he'll even be in the AHL that sort of a period of time because, of course, the Flyers picked up Zach McEwen in order to help there, but I don't know if he will be down there that much when it comes to that. So that's a fun guy to watch in the first game and going forward because I think also, obviously, Isaac Ratcliffe as my keys for this particular game. Somebody like him, assuming he's in the lineup, is a guy that's a huge component against rivals to establish the kind of tenacity, the physical play early, and to kind of just show that great net from presence and you're not going to back down from anybody. And then you obviously have Morgan Frost down there. He's a key to the game as well, gener- generating the great offense through him and Tyson Forster, who are some of the better, obviously, offensive players down there. And a guy in Forster who impressed mightily last season, along with Zade Wisdom, who's unfortunately injured right now. It's good to want him back. But Forster, Tumala, and Ratcliffe, I would say, are my offensive players to watch tonight, assuming all of them um, get in the lineup, and Morgan Frost, of course, because he is just down there to get his game back from being injured, and once he gets going and churning, I don't think he will be in the AHL, that's for damn sure that long, but Sammy Tumala is a guy that's going to be fun to watch all season, and a guy that we're going to see could be the Zade Wisdom of this year, and be a hell of an impressive player at a very young age. When it comes to defense, I think the defensive players to watch, because that's not a knock on Hamburg projecting him as a 6-7, I think he has a chance to heighten that projection if he has another good season this year and keeps progressing, that is, for Linus Hogberg. So him and Wyatt Wiley and Cam York would, of course, be my players to watch um, on defense there because he had a good rookie season, but he showed a lot more things that need to be adjusted than where Wiley was just a lot more overly impressive and seemed to be a lot more mature at the young age than Hogberg. But that's not a knock on him. That's just how they are. Now, after the first half point of the season, Linus Hogberg might be one of the better AHL defensemen. You never know because he does have that work ethic. He just needs to fix those things at home. That's why I'm excited to see what he does after an offseason. So York, Hogberg, and Wiley would be my defensemen to watch. Forster, Ratcliffe, Tumala, and then always while he's down, until he's back up in the uh, NHL, Morgan Frost is going to be a player to watch because he should be killing the AHL just like he did in the preseason. And then, of course, as always, whoever is in net, Sammy Ersan or Felix Sandstrom, are going to be fun guys to watch this year because Ersan's coming over as a rookie. See how he adjusted the North American game. Felix Sandstrom excuse me, is coming off of a hot end to the season last year for our Lehigh Valley Phantom. It is a new era of Phantoms hockey. I definitely want to thank Scott Gordon for all he did for our team. He was definitely good in post-game interviews. He was a good coach for this team. Now it's the Ian LaPerriere era, and we're going to see what he's able to bring. Tony Androkis and other people I saw definitely mentioned that it seems like there's a new energy with this team, and that is good to see. It seems like this team is poised to be a team that can compete in the Calder playoffs and be a good team that goes on a good run this year. So this has been a look into our Lehigh Valley Phantom season and a preview to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms versus Wilkes-Barre Scranton game that I think our good offensive firepower is going to be able to prevail and a little bit more experience, of course, on our Phantoms team, where they have a hell of a lot of rookies when you look at their roster on AHL.com with the rookie indication, even compared to our Phantoms when it comes to that Wilkes-Barre team. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Enjoy the game tonight. Go Phantom. Subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or up above in the easy-to-use widget. Good luck this season, Phantoms, and let's go Phantoms. Let's start off great this game.